Hi, it's me, it's Denise, in all my glory. Um, hi, we hit 600, yay. I wanted to take some time to show you some things. Um, I kind of have some ideas and I wanted to show you some of the things that that I have. Years ago at a rummage sale, I bought a whole box full of doilies. They're really pretty. They're, um, there's a whole bunch of them. This whole thing is full of them, the tub. I thought in my head, my little head got a thought of using these. This could be on a jar. Um, and the creations that come out of here. I got a recipe off the internet for starch, you know, hard starch. And I have my first doily in the kitchen drying. It's almost dry and it's got to be really stiff. It's really neat. I think this is my favorite one. It'll have to be very special to use this one. I might make something for here. Isn't that pretty? Uh, I want to mix pretty things with trash. I know that sounds kind of silly. And I think that what the name of my booth will be, I don't want to necessarily take it as a I don't want a business, you know, not really. I don't know if that constitutes a business if you have a booth. These, this is really very nice too. It's like a runner. It goes this way. Isn't that pretty? They look like hibiscus. Um, but in the Bible, it talks about, the word talks about us being, you know, that God makes beauty for ashes, that he restores what the canker worm has eaten. The canker worms eat flesh. Canker worms eat people. And what he's comparing that to, what I see he's comparing it to, is the the pain in our lives, the different things that we go through, uh, that he'll restore us. Uh, in the book of Job, it talked about, you know, he lost everything. He lost everything. He lost his family. He lost his daughters and sons. He lost his fortune. He was a very wealthy man. And his body became absolutely ravaged. And because he didn't deny God, he was restored seven times. So his children were restored. His fortune was restored. Everything was restored to him, plus. And he makes beauty for ashes. What we look at is destruction. He looks at as beauty. That he can work in us when we're broken. He can work in us when we're at our lowest. When we're not, we've got it, you know? We've got control. We've got it. <clears throat> we don't need him. So when he says beauty for ashes, He takes the ashes of our lives and makes them into beautiful things. Anyway, it just speaks volumes to me. And many times he's taken the ashes of my life and restored me. And what I want to do is take things that nobody else wants. 
nobody else can see the beauty in and restore them and make them beautiful. Look, this is so dainty and delicate. This kind of matches that runner with the three flowers in it. I look at these things and it, you know, there's so much life and so much that has gone before as a result. You know, those were probably used on a sideboard. And some of them were used on chairs as chair doilies. Anyway, occasionally things like this come up where you can pick these things up for nothing. Over at Habitat, God reminded me of all these doilies and what he could do with them. And I saw doilies over there, but they wanted a dollar and a quarter for a doily. And, you know, they're worth it. They are. I want to find them for cheaper, for less expensive. I want to be able to... Uh, keep the things that I make more affordable. Here's the box finished. It's not finished finished, but it's in one piece, sort of. It's not going to fall apart. It's got lots of boo-boos on it. And I'm planning on sealing it with I seal this wood with I thought it was a primer and it is a primer but it's a paint primer that is colorless so I'm going to seal this I think I don't want to ruin the wood so I'm going to try it on the back and see what it looks like I think there's something quite beautiful about the wood and how it's weathered and how the elements have changed it. So I don't want to change it a lot. I'm thinking of sealing it only because it sheds. And someone might be a little reluctant to bring it into their home if they know it's going to shed stuff. Now what I my goal is with this, I think, I've got some sponge brushes in the other room. I need to go get them because this is going to take forever. It's all right. Um, it's not really changing the wood. On that one piece of wood, it did. It changed it. Not permanently, though. It did go back to kind of what it was. So that's a good thing. I think I want to put a mirror in this and the doily that I have drying right now, it's round and it has uh, pansies on it, multicolored pansies. It's very beautiful. And I think what I want to do is put, I don't think I'm going to put the doily on there just round. I'm going to shape it and then put a mirror and on top of it and probably some ribbon. And this will be the first of our Beauty for Ashes. I'm just going to paint the rest of this thing and then I'll run out and go get the brushes so that I can get it a little faster. You know, I would love to be able to meet every one of you face to face. Oh, there, there's a few of you that have asked me about a post office box. And I checked on it, and they're not free, and I need to, you know, I'm pretty stretched financially with the Timu thing. 
Um, it's not very much. It's really not that much. It's like, I don't know, $10 a month or something. But you have to pay it in advance. I don't have it right this second. I know that some people do um, reviews for other companies, and I suspect that in order to be contacted, I need to put contact information in the bio. I don't know. I don't know if anybody would be interested in me doing something like that. Um, you know, if I'm established enough as a creator, oh, I don't like that. As a YouTube person, I don't like that either. Uh, the only creator that I'm going to give credit to is the Lord. Um, he does all of this. You know, he puts the ideas in my head and gives me whatever talent that I might have. He's the one that gives it to me. And I think he gives me you as well, because as far as your talent goes, he obviously he gives me you. Um, he does the creating. I do the listening. I try. Sometimes I don't listen too well. I feel like a disobedient child. <laughs> I try. And I know he knows that. And I know that he honors that in me. It's not because I'm good or otherwise that I'm saved. It's because of what Jesus did for me and you, and anybody else, but it's a very personal experience with the Lord. When we come to know him, it's like, gosh, you meet him face to face and heart to heart. Or maybe I should say heart to heart and face to face. He is the great I am. I feel like I'm putting white glue, Elmer's glue on this thing. I'm not. But I think it'll seal in the, the guck. I don't want to paint it. I want it to be very raw. I didn't go get the brush, did I? <laughs> oh well. It's working. I found some little containers that I'm going to be putting um, some of the goodies in that I found yesterday. I really had to rein in my enthusiasm. I wanted to go back today. I'm not going to. I think if I keep my visits down to Wednesdays, which is senior day, and it's a 10% discount, I can so easily be drawn into buying too much. Gee, go figure. <laughs> oh, well. I think that he reigns me in pretty well. Ooh, I dropped some of that. Yuck. It does, it feels like Wilmer's glue. But it's not. So is the weather broken in your neck of the woods? It 
has here pretty much it's uh, 48 right now foggy it takes a while for the ground to catch up with the air that's what causes the fog Now I just dropped the whole paintbrush on me. Oh well. I need an apron and a bib. I do. Sometimes I'm as sloppy as a a child can be. I really don't try to be. My cats are, several of them are in here. One is on the windowsill, one is over by the sewing machine. I'm sending some pictures to a friend of the sewing machine. She thinks she might be able to give me tips on how to get it working. It does, it works fine. The motor is great. And the, the foot goes up and down just fine. But it doesn't advance the pressure uh, the the pressure foot is fine it's the oh gosh what do they call that it's the part that advances the feeder foot the feeder it doesn't feed I'm really excited about going to town with the I think something is being delivered as we speak. I have a small order, a partial that didn't get delivered. And it was supposed to be out today, so I think that's probably what that is. Uh -oh. My dogs sound like they're going to kill you. They want to see people so badly. But it doesn't sound like a I'm happy to see you kind of bark. They both sound really vicious and they're not. Well, they must have dropped the package and they're on their way. Got a little piece here that I need to super glue down not super glue but wood glue down one of the brace pieces i thought i got all that but apparently i did not this is fun for me i enjoy this so much that's one of the things i enjoy so much about sewing is you can take something and make something out of nothing you know you just have the material and and knitting crocheting I'm a crocheter. I know how to knit. Um, but somehow crocheting is something that I think I enjoy more. I've done it more. I made all my kids baby blankets and a lot of my grandkids I made baby blankets for. Um... And I made blankets for other children, too. And I made some for some of my adult children. And with that being said, they all look the same. They're just one is bigger than another. I haven't uh, mastered patterns. I think I told you that. Uh, oh, there I dripped it again. It does come off, though. I have 
already washed a blouse that that white blouse I was wearing the other day, some dripped on it. I thought, oh no, I'm allergic to white. When I have white on, I attract every bit of dirt there is. You know, pig pen on Charlie Brown, that's me. I don't know how long this is going to take to dry. I think. But it's not bad. It's pretty fast drying. That's the one that needs to be fixed. And I need to pull this out. Oops. Come on now. You're going the wrong way. There. Now if I can get my hands to work right. I gotta hold my mouth just so or else I, I can't get it. So, oh no. Well, need more wood glue than I thought. Rats. That wasn't too smart, Denise. I gotta figure out how it fits. I think it goes this way. This stuff was pretty rotten, wasn't it? There. That's the way it goes. Or maybe this way. Okay, well, let's just see what I can do here. <clears throat> it's like a jigsaw puzzle. This has a groove in it. Where would I have had a groove? I suppose nobody would notice it if I left it, but I would notice it. I would know that it's not right. I think that goes right there. My new bottle of glue. opening the whole thing. Just want to open the nozzle. Come on now. Oh, why does it have to be difficult? I will use a Q-tip. My fingers used to be so nimble. I could do any kind of job that required 
dexterity and stuff without any trouble at all. Now what did I decide? I went this way. I think it goes this way. I think it's going to go this way. And I can glue this down too. That's the brace. There's another piece of wood here. Can I tie that in? goodness should be fine when everything is said and done it's just right now I think oh my gosh I hope I haven't ruined it I haven't I had to take the nail out that was kind of important So what are you all doing today? I imagine all you peoples in the north are still cuddled up with blankets. I can't imagine anything else. I would be too. But it did get warmer, so I'm very grateful for that. Okay, so that's that, that's that, that's that. There we go. And where's my lid? Here it is. Oh gosh. This was something I got at Habitat the last time I was there. I don't know if you remember it or not. But I've fallen in love with this bird. I think it's really going to be fun to do something with this. I cleaned it up. He had lots of gunkies on him. I brought my magnifying glass in here. Here it is. There's a marking on the bottom. I don't know what it is. Upside down is what it is. Oh, and it makes no sense to me. Two, a two of, and from. Maybe what they had this it says two. And then something T-O-O -O of. And ran. And a T and an E. I'll have to look that up. It must mean something. The markings on the bottom always mean something. We'll have to figure it out. I don't think it's 
you know, it's definitely not an antique. It's, it's not old, but it's really cute. See? Have I bored you all yet? I hope not. I couldn't find my sponge brushes. I think I probably took them out to the garage. Um. It'd be so fun if just magically we could all come together and meet. I would love that. Those of you that feel comfortable commenting and do, I feel like I know you on a different level, of course, than I do anybody else, but I don't ever ever want any of you to feel like a number every one of you is so important to me oh I was talking about getting a post office box I think I told you I have to wait a little bit they're not terribly expensive but I've got to delegate money appropriately. People want their bill their bills paid. I don't understand that, do you? <laughs> yeah, I know. I think I'm going to put this up and maybe go through the stuff that I got yesterday and I have some little containers. I want to get more at Dollar Tree. These were something that I got there. I honestly haven't seen them on Timu, but I haven't specifically looked for those containers. Um, they're square ones. These are round and they have caps that come off. I may regret putting little stuff in and maybe I should go ahead and get the larger ones from Timu but I'm going to work with what I have for now I'm going to get this one side painted or not painted but coated I'll definitely show you when that doily is done before I put it together. I want you to see what I'm doing. I made an appointment for my eyes. It's next Wednesday at 12.15. I have to be there at noon. I don't mind going to this place, but I know... It's going to involve, I mean, that doctor doesn't do the cataract removal or anything. It's got to go to a specialist, and then it takes time to see a specialist, and then it, you know, it's just a long, drawn-out thing. If I could just go in and be done, that would be perfect. I don't have time for this nonsense. And I know if I don't do it, I'll be sorry for the results. I, I already am. I mean, I felt enough change this year that I know that I have to. I don't like the idea of cataracts. Used to be years ago. When you had cataract surgery, you had to have these really thick glasses and all kinds of stuff. Now they just replace the the lens in your eye. It's pretty impressive what they do. 
And I hear it's not a big deal. I'm not afraid of surgery. I've just had a, my fill of them. Okay, I'm almost done with this. I think I said I was just going to do that one side, didn't I? Whoops. This one's almost done. I'm going to have to pay attention to what this is that I've got. I'm sure this won't be the only piece that I'm going to need to do this on. It doesn't take a lot. I still have the inside and two more sides to do with the sealer. I'm going to do this right here. I dripped a drop in there and I had to spread it out. I picked this up at Habitat um, some time ago with Katie in mind because she loves sunflowers so much. I was going to cut them out and do something for her with it. Okay, i got to figure out what I'm going to do with this nonsense. Okay, I can't see those numbers on the, I don't know how long we've been doing this. I don't care. It's fine for me. I just don't want you guys to get so weary that you leave and feel disgruntled because I've been here too long. These are the little containers I was telling you about. There's several of them here. Dollar Tree sells them. I think there are about 10 of them to a a bag when you buy them and for a dollar and a quarter I think that's pretty good this is oh I want to do all of this stuff right now and I can't this is the tool that I'm going to be using for the first um What are we making? Hangs on the door. Wreath. I'll use these two. Maybe I'll do this instead of... Maybe I'll do this instead. Of what I was going to do. Okay, I need to figure out how long I want each of these to be. I have to take it through this way and pull it through. So about twice as long as this. ring over here. Oh, no, I don't. It's in those boxes of stuff. That I got yesterday. See, this is real similar to the tool that I got at Dollar Tree. So, based on that, I did really well. Because these are a dollar and a quarter. Why 
do I have 348 on there? I got these at Dollar Tree. Why did I put 348 on there? I don't know. Maybe I did look it up on Timu and that was what they want for a similar amount. Oh good, there's a ring right at the top. Okay, so I took an embroidery hoop and took the rings apart. So there's enough for two hoops. I'm going to see how much I need. Where's my scissors? This is going to be a test pattern. Let's see what it's going to look like. There are little lines in this, so it's going to make it easier to cut it. I'm famous for crooked. You know, I can't... I'm so famous for crooked, I can't write without lines. I watch... Um, I can write... But it goes, it's slanted, you know, it goes down the page rather than being straight across. It's always been like that. I hold my pen differently than most people do. I don't know if that's why. Okay, let's see how this does. I used to get in trouble at school because I held my pen all wrong. Okay, now what the deal is, but you got to have enough to be able to make your loop, and then you pull it through on the other side. This way. So you have a here's your loop and you've pulled it through this way so it almost looks like a, a men's tie when you're done with the one See, that's how it attaches. And you do this all the way around. You could almost make them shorter. Now with regular tool, it doesn't fray. I'm seeing that this frays, so... It might be a little messier job. But you want to put your loops on the same side so they always pull through the same way because your inside won't look right otherwise.
And you know what? I'm telling you to do that, and I didn't do it. Yikes. Lay it over the top like this, and then go under the bottom and pull it through. That's a good thing to remember. Oh goodness, come on now. I don't think it likes doing this. Over the top. And pull it through. Now it's backwards. So you pull it, you do it the way I told you to the, the first time. If you want the knot, you go through the hoop. I'm really showing you how to do this, huh? I want to go this way. Put the loop through the middle of the hoop and you put this down through the bottom. And if it doesn't work this way, then I'm going to quit because I don't know how to do it. Otherwise, I'm not going to quit. I don't quit. That's something that I learned a long time ago. The only way that you fail is if you quit or don't try at all. This stuff isn't really good for wreaths. I think that it's for bows. And I'm going to put this away and get some tool. This will be fun to do. But there's no point in doing it if I can't do it right. So, with that being said, I thought I knew what I was doing, but I don't. And that's okay. you got to learn. Okay. So, now i got to figure out what to do with this stuff. I made bows with it, and it was kind of pretty. I'll figure it out. If anybody has any ideas, let me know, okay? Alrighty. So, are you still up for this? I want to get these things out of the paper that they're, or the plastic that they're in, because they will break open, and then I'll have stuff everywhere. Okay, George, what do I do with my scissors? What happens when you organize stuff? You lose things. How in the world did I lose my scissors? I just had them. No, I'll just do it this way. That's crazy. Do you sit in a chair? Do you have your own chair? Do you sit in that chair and you haven't moved anywhere, but you lose stuff? Do you ever do that? I do it all the time. Okay, googly eyes are going in here. with a lid. Now I can put these in a plastic box, put a whole bunch of them in there, and I'll be able to see what I have because they're clear, and I like this about them. And I don't have paper and junk. 
at least at the moment. I didn't throw them away, did I? No. Okay, what else do I have? I have sequins. These are so pretty. I'm excited to be able to start using them. This is something that I can do at night when Oh gosh. I would like to be able to do them. And Lord willing, I'm going to be able to find my needle threaders. I thought they were in by my chair. And I looked for them. Now that's a thousand sequins. Okay, what else do I have here? These are little blue beads. It scares me even to open them because it's kind of tedious packaging. I'm going to have to get to Dollar Tree and get more of these. I have quite a bit of stuff to put in little containers. Out of there. You know you want to go. I don't know if any of you noticed, but I'm not wearing nails, and I haven't for a few days now. I think I'm going to give it a rush. Um, I'm, I think I told you that I have a bunch of gel nail stuff. I'm going to take a look at it and see how to do it. I've done it on other people before. And it was before my spinal cord injury, so I don't know how it's going to work out now. So that was a long time ago, because that was the one that affected my um, hands was in 2013. It affected everything, but my hands hadn't really been affected before that. I'd had a couple before spinal cord injuries. I'd had two surgeries on my neck already when this last one happened. But the last one was pretty catastrophic. It affected everything. And I look at my body and I look at myself and I see... I can choose to look at the deficits, but I choose to look at how amazing my body has healed. Oh dear. That was a lot of stuff. Whole box tipped over. Oh well. I shall get it. Anyway, I think that we all have a choice to look at what we don't have. And it's pretty easy to look at what we don't have instead of what we have. Um, Anyhow, these are the little sparkly green. You know, I can't even blame a cat for that. It just decided to tip over. Here are some red beads. I'm really excited about these things that God has just really provided 
with lots of neat things. And I want to get, I don't want to just collect it. I want to use it. I hope that crafting is something that you guys will enjoy doing too with me. Um, now these are just the bows, they're the little bows. Oh, here's another pair of scissors. Yay. The shoelaces. Um, I feel very strongly that I need to honor these gifts. And it's really easy to get them and be excited about it and then put them away and not use them. And I don't want to do that. The ideas that he's giving me are just so cool. Some green sequins. Are there any more little containers? Boy, that was quick. I used them all. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, four, six. A well. Now I guess I get to go pick up all the stuff off the floor. Well, my dears, I'm going to turn you off. I know you don't want to watch me on the floor. I love you all. And I will see you soon. I hope that your days go well. And until next time, I love you. Bye.